Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to illustrate the simple aesthetic uh, sunset along with a house and an electric pole and we are going straight off into step one which is just paint the sky. So if you are following the previous video or illustration, you definitely know the brush I love using is coarse watercolor and you can adjust the size according to your stylus pressure and your um, product you're using i'm currently using apple sixth generation ipad along with apple first gen so once we are going to start by adding color you can use any color you want i'm just going with the pastel tone here i started with light tint of orange followed by pink then purple then a little bit lighter shade of blue and also i'm going to add the darker shade on the top just don't get scared as of now because once we are going to blend it will all look good and also i'm adding a shade of yellow tint at the very end so that it looks like a sunset and it's going to be done very soon so we are going to use our favorite blending brush from artist column so make sure you adjust the size of the brush again based on your stylus and whichever tool you are using so I have started from the top to bottom and this time I am not going in a very easy way. I am just going in a diagonal way bringing all the color from outside to inside and slowly pushing it in between. If you can understand please do so. If not please let me know how, much, how I should demonstrate this. So one of the keynote of me using pastel color or aesthetic is basically because I'm too much into anime and I have watched a lot of lot of anime as I was growing up. So one thing I really enjoyed was uh, one thing what, what I really enjoyed watching anime is definitely Ghibli Studios. I know a lot of fans are out there watching this. If it, let me know which is your favorite Ghibli um, movie. I will be happy to share mine which is definitely The Wind Rises and Kiki. And uh, there are many other great great anime series which I have watched but uh, that's one of the reason why majority of the paint is more of aesthetic because I'm living somewhere in the anime world. So moving on to step two we are just going to draw a very simple building. Here we are using Using font and pen and also we are going to use the help of draw style to draw the rectangle and also my building is going to be in the purple, purple color shade so it's just going to do a very simple small rectangle box and also we are going to add a depth to the building so we are going to add a straight line and we are going to choose a darker shade for the shadow of the building so just make sure you follow the exact step and also make sure to tag me in my Instagram profile. I'll be happy to share in my stories and I'll be happy to share here in the YouTube as well. I remember in the previous video, uh, someone named Doodleholic or something like that. I'll correct or post her link in the comment box so you can check. She actually tagged me and I felt super happy and I thought this is what I want. I want people to learn, share it with me, share it with the world so that we become one of the most strongest community out there so once we are done i'm going to add a new layer to draw the window and also i'm going to use the same pen which is fountain pen and also i'm going to use the help of draw style to draw the rectangle and just make sure you do it little darker because I'm, we are going to add the light beneath the window layer. So again, we are going to add depth of shadow to the window. So I'm just going to give this diagonal slides here uh, from the bottom and to the side. And once we are done, make sure to add layer beneath the window layer so that we can give the color. Don't worry if it goes out because we are just going to erase it off as we finish the layer. Also make sure to check on the right side, you can see there is a sky layer, there is a building layer, there is a light layer and there is a window layer. So one of the rule of digital illustration is to add as much as layer as you want and once you are done, uh, you don't have to worry about it. But if you make a mess up in any of the layer, you can simply delete and start new as a fresh. Once we are done with one window, just making sure you are exactly what you are looking for. Merge both the window layer and say copy and paste and add another 
layer of window so i felt like we need little more shadow in the building so i'm using flow airbrush to add a dark uh, shade so that it's look it's in the evening and the sun is setting down and the building layer is little bit in darker shades so now we are moving on to the most interesting illustration of today that is adding electric pole we are just going to use tattoo inker and once we are done we are going to use a uh, font like technical pen to add the wire from for the electric pole so all i'm going to do is draw a straight line and one smaller line and one bigger line and we are going to do exactly same for the other you can actually copy and paste this but i just thought maybe i'll illustrate even that because i don't want to be lazy today anyway so once we are done with this we are going to use a technical pen to add the wire uh, coming into the electric pole just make sure you take your time because this is nearly in 4x speed and also from adding few boxes and wire just enjoy this entire process and also let me know which of the next illustration are you looking forward to do you want a vector's illustration or the easy one where you don't have to blend just the outline and then you keep on adding color and so because sometimes i feel like i'm repeating the same illustration or same color theme like i said in the beginning i'm an anime fan and i love all this aesthetic colors that's one of the reason why and also i feel like my followers do enjoy this type of video if you're enjoying let me know and also if you're looking for something different even i'm happy to assist that and make sure to tag me in your instagram illustration so i feel like we're almost at the end i'm just going to add few more wires and we are done and we are hopping on to step four that is paint a tree and a grass for the grass layer we are going to use our good old friend camo brush and also make sure to add new layer as we illustrate by once we are done with the grass we are going to use tattoo inker to draw a simple tree and also make sure to add a new layer to draw the tree because sometimes we mess up and i don't want to erase the grass whatsoever so once we are using tattoo inker for the branch and also i think here i'm using technical pen itself to do the branch but most probably please use tattoo inker and when we are done we are going to use signature ink to add the leaf in the tree so there won't be a lot of tree because i feel like it's going to be autumn and the leaves are falling down that's even though it is going to be the beginning of autumn in another two months but i feel like maybe we start adding autumn vibes so add a layer beneath the grass layer and just make sure you add those leaf and just reduce the opacity of it and once we are done we are going to use feathery to add the more grass to our background so that it looks like it's an evening in a neighborhood so moving on to my favorite adding moon and star we are going this is a very simple step we are using glow brush and we are going to dab three time and we are using cashmere brush to give that crescent moon effect just just erase it off from the edge or you can use the help of draw style circle to erase as how i describe here so for adding moon we are just going to use sparkle and add as much as you want and copy and paste the rest hope you guys enjoy this video like share and comment and subscribe if you are new and also share it with your artist friend and also comment down what you're looking in the next illustration till then take care have a great life